What's up, you guys? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can tell from the title, I'm actually going to be going over with you how much money I have made from start to finish from doing DoorDash, Grubhub, and Uber. So if you have not seen already, I actually quit. Come on, car, be quiet. So if you didn't already know, I made a whole video about me quitting DoorDash and why I quit and kind of just what my future plans are. But someone asked me a good question. On one of my videos they were wondering how much money i made total from doing doordash from when i started till when i quit so i haven't even thought of making that video before so here i am to make this video i have made similar videos where i told you guys how much i made in like a year i started doordash in december of 2019. i obviously stopped about a month ago but i will say that in may and june those were some really really low months for me i just wasn't doing a lot of doordash i was out of town for about two and a half weeks. So that was a really low month. And then June, I just wasn't doing a ton. And I think even in April, I didn't do a whole lot of DoorDash just because I don't really know why. I just wasn't doing a lot back then. It wasn't going great. And now it's just really terrible where I'm at. So I don't do it at all. But I wanna say before I get into this video, I am in no way promoting DoorDash to new people whatsoever. I would not recommend it to anybody right now unless maybe you're in an area that is different than mine but it's just doesn't work for me. And I know there's a lot of people who feel the same way and a lot of people that feel like they're being taken advantage of. And that's just how I feel as well. And I'm not gonna do it anymore. So just know to the dashers out there, I'm not trying to promote this to anyone else. I really don't think it's a good, good thing to start, especially right now. I think maybe a year, a year and a half ago. Yes, it would have been a really good thing to start two years ago even or whenever, but now, no. Hi, you wanna say hello? You wanna say hello? This is my shy shy. So I am going to include Uber and Grubhub as well, just because I did them as well, but for a lot less time. And I just thought it'd be fun to tell you guys how much I made. Now she's licking my leg, okay. And also I'm not trying to say anything bad about people still doing DoorDash. You guys know how I stand on that. If it's something you need to do right now, I totally understand. It's just something I cannot do. I don't wanna be accepting. I think now it's like 225 here, the pay, base pay, maybe even $2. I'm not totally sure because I haven't done any, but I've heard people say it's going down to like two and 225. So the highest you can get is usually six, six something, unless there's a peak pay, which I just, I can't do. I can't accept a six mile order for six something and not know what the pay is, you know? You have a sticker, girl. Let me get it. Now that we have that out of the way, let's just get into the numbers, the thing you're probably most excited for. And I'm going to start with DoorDash just because it's obviously in the title and it's way higher than the other amounts of money just because I did it for longer. Like I said, I've done it since December. I quit, I really quit at the end of June, but I wasn't doing it a lot, like I said. So about a year and a half, give or take a month, I guess. And I made $37,967.44. Just so you know, that is not counting any cash tips. I have not gotten a ton of cash tips. I still have, but I have not gotten a lot. And I don't really know how much that would add up to because it's so minimal and I just barely ever got them. But it probably was a couple hundred just because I did it for so long. And I used to get a lot more cash tips before COVID really hit. And also before I moved, there were people in that town that would give me cash tips pretty often. So they just weren't a ton, but I would say maybe like $200, maybe more. I could be totally off. I've gotten a couple really good cash tips, so I'm not really sure. So that's how much I made with DoorDash. And then with Uber, I made $8,036.24. That was a lot less. One of the reasons was because I didn't start Uber until around the end of August of 2020 because we did not have that in the town I moved from. So all I did was DoorDash. But I started that as soon as I could. And I'll just say, it's not that popping where I'm at and the orders are kind of crap. Some days they're pretty good, I will say that, but then other days you just get like 250, 250, 250. I'm not gonna take those. I will say that I kind of used Uber and Grubhub as just extra income on top of DoorDash. When I was out, I would just have all three of them on and if I got good orders on any of them, I would just do them. DoorDash just happened to be the better one of the three. So that's why I made less on Uber. And then Grubhub, I actually made even less, which to me was surprising, but then again, not really. I made $6,955.31 with Grubhub. So I was a little surprised it was less than Uber just because back in the day, I did come to Austin before I moved here and did a couple days 
of Grubhub and DoorDash. If you've seen those videos, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm just surprised because I've had Grubhub longer than I've had Uber. So I'm just surprised that it was less, but you know, it is what it is. Grubhub is also not popping here whatsoever. It is even less popular here than Uber. It is so dead when it comes to Grubhub where I'm at. I don't know why, even though I think Grubhub is now kind of cheaper than DoorDash to order from. Just so you know, if you're a customer, I think it depends on where you are and it depends on, I don't know. DoorDash, I think is just getting more expensive for everybody and yet they're lowering DoorDashers pay. So it makes no sense. My phone keeps cutting out and I don't know why because I have plenty of space, it makes no sense. But I want to get to the good part, which is the total of all three of these apps. So the total comes to $52,958.99. Of course it ends in 99 cents. It couldn't just be an even dollar, really. Someone couldn't just tip me an extra penny. But I, like I said, that does not count any cash tips. And also that does not count any favor I did, Instacart or Postmates. I did a tiny, tiny bit of Postmates. So we don't even need to count that. I probably made like $30 on Postmates, maybe 40. And we just don't count that. But with favor, I made over 2,000, so I guess you could throw an extra 2,000. It's, it's closer to 55,000, really, if you wanna look at it that way. But I just didn't really feel like adding that because I hate favor. That's pretty much the reason. I just absolutely hate favor. <laughs> and I made a whole video about that, so. Definitely not promoting favor to anybody. Before I end this video, I wanted to mention that I'm planning on making a video slightly talking about DoorDash and just them emailing and when I, when you stop dashing for them, they try to reach out to you and get you to do it. And I just wanna make a little rant video about that, about how stupid that is and just about how, what, what they offer, the bonus they offer to you because they did that to me and it's just dumb. And I also want to ask you guys if you're interested, would you want me to occasionally still make DoorDash videos, not where I'm going out and dashing, unless it magically changes and they stop hiding tips or they don't hide as much of the tip like they used to, then I would go back to doing it. But would you like to see me do videos where I'm explaining kind of what's going on? Because I still see a lot of what's going on. I see the base pay being lowered. I see a lot of things. I keep up on it because I mean, I'm subscribed to people that make those type of videos. I'm on the Reddit. I see a bunch of things and I would still enjoy making those videos every now and then, just not all the time, because I don't want to be totally DoorDash, 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 because I'm sick of them. But let me know if you're interested in still seeing some videos about DoorDash, just not all the time. So let me know, because I would definitely make those. So that's pretty much all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everybody. Wait another day. Into a love that won't be forgotten. For